Number three is you have to master your emotions. You have to master your emotions. Look, until you master your emotions, you will always be a slave to them. I'll say that one more time. Until you master your emotions, you'll always be a slave to them. Or better, until you master your emotions, your emotions will master you. See, most of us, we make decisions based off how we feel. I don't feel like making phone calls. Who's ever not felt like making phone calls? Say, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All of us. The person who wins the push makes the calls anyway. See, I always get this question. When I get up on stage and I'm all excited and amped up, people are like, whoa, where do you get so motivated? Where do you get all that energy? How do you stay so motivated? And I'm going to tell you guys a little secret about motivation. Anyone want to know the secret? You don't need it. You don't need motivation. You need to learn to take action when you're not motivated. You need to learn to take action when you are motivated. You need to learn to take action regardless of whether or not you're motivated. Because what I've found is when you take action anyway, motivation tends to find you. I'll give you an example. Let's say you've got five demos for the day and you feel like crap. How many of you have ever had a day of demos that all you could think about driving there was how to find a way to get out of it? Raise your hand and say, yeah, that's me. We've all been there. Not every day, but we've all been there, right? Is that fair? How many of you, if you went to that house and sold a $4,000 order, would be excited to go on the next one and say, yeah, baby? Yeah, baby. All of us, right? By the way, guys, that was kind of weak for a $4,000 order. How loud and excited and fired up would you get if you just closed a $4,000 order? Let me hear you say, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. So you guys got to get into the right mindset in order to make a breakthrough. Does that make sense? You've got to be able to master your emotions. You've got to decide that emotions may happen automatically, but it's your choice whether you stay in them. Emotions are a choice. Write that down. Emotions are a choice. They're what? A choice. Emotions are a choice. Look, something might have happened that makes you sad, but you chose to stay sad. Something might have happened that made you angry, but you chose to stay angry. What is one way you could have stopped being angry? Focus on something you're grateful for. It's really hard to be angry. Does that make sense? But it's really easy to let your emotions stay on autopilot. The biggest champions in the world, they've learned to master their emotions so they can master themselves. Because if you don't master your emotions, everything that happens to you is external, outside of your control. Things happen outside of your control that make you sad and you're just sad for the whole day. Things make you angry and you're going to be mad the whole day. Look, Tony Robbins says the quality of your life is determined by where you spent your time, meaning which emotional states you spent your minutes in. So if we could calculate your life, to the exact number of minutes. How many of those minutes did you spend frustrated? How many of those minutes did you spend scared? How many of those minutes did you spend ecstatic, thrilled, and overjoyed versus angry, pissed off, and annoyed? Does that make sense? And so you don't have to stay in whatever emotion you feel, but if you choose to be a slave to your emotions, it's your fault if you don't get the results that you want in your life. Does that make sense? So you've got to figure out one thing every morning is light yourself on fire. Get yourself in an emotional state that makes it easy to say yes to the right things. I'll give you a great example. People are always trying to find a way to go work out in the morning or go do this or go do that, but they roll out of bed lazy. But if you get excited and pump yourself up, how easy is it to make the right decisions the rest of the day? Everyone following me? You can always act anyways no matter how your emotions tell you to feel. Jot that down. You can always act anyway. I could be nervous to get on the stage or I could be excited to share something that might impact someone in this room's life. It's all in perspective. And it doesn't mean that the emotion doesn't come. It doesn't mean that when the room fills up, I don't suddenly say, well, this room's getting big. It means that I shift my perspective and say, look at all these people I might have an opportunity to serve. But it's all in whether or not you choose to master your emotions or let them be on autopilot. Everyone follow me. If you are, say yes. yes. 